Hey, what's up you beautiful feckers? How you all doing? So Devstream 104 was last night, but it got cut short due to a false fire alarm, which means we didn't get to see everything that they had planned on showing us, but we still got some glimpses and information about certain items making their way into the game. Now, Damage 2.5 is going to undergo more radical changes than what they first mentioned in that dev workshop, which was tweaks to our current damage system with the impact ragdolling and of course, puncture reducing enemy damage by up to 75%. So we can ignore those old damage changes and see what the future holds, hopefully something good. Now, what these changes are, these radical changes, we don't know, who knows, maybe some some of your ideas were actually listened to and taken on board by the developers and maybe we will see puncture weak spots from weapons or impact disarming targets or even armor reduction from puncture as well who knows it'll be interesting to see now because of these new damage 2.5 changes Cora our new kitty cat frame is going to undergo a bit of a rework to separate her from damage 2.5 possibly hopefully to release her a lot sooner fingers crossed now during the dev stream we got a glimpse at what the Mesa Deluxe skin is. It is a work in progress and it's a bit of a conquistador themed skin with coattails and of course Jeff mentioned that her regulator pistols might look like muskets or some kind of old flintlock pistol. Maybe something like this since this was a conquistador's pistol. Now I really like the look of the Deluxe skin but the helmet reminds me of one of Ivara's helmets. The Loxley one I think it is. The Robin Hood one with the feather. What do you guys think? Maybe maybe you don't see that at all now the next round of tenogen is next week hopefully harrow and boob and grax hopefully zephyr is being looked at her rework is going to happen sometime this year hopefully her prime variant as well but scott mentioned that he thinks some of zephyr's abilities only need a stat tweak along with some weapons added into some kind of a big update bundle honestly I don't think her abilities are fine as they are. I would like to see some kind of an overhaul to her abilities. I'm not sure which abilities are okay in their eyes, but I kind of hope Dive Bomb gets replaced and maybe her Tornadoes as well. Tornadoes can be really annoying when running in a squad. They're just straight up ragdolling everything all over the place. Right now, Zephyr's only good ability in my eyes is Turbulence. Sorry if you love Zephyr as she is, but Turbulence and Jetstream in particular have become her go-to setup for a lot of players and makes some weapons really really good so i would love more than just a stat boost on her abilities and would prefer to see some of them replaced but again that's just my opinion i'm sure you've got one as well feel free to share it in the comment section below now we also got a look at the upcoming Odachi, the two-handed katana, and its combo moves look insanely good. The sword is feckin' huge, I can't wait to get my hands on it. Now, honestly, in the comment section right now, I expect loads of weeb comments about what type of sword this actually is, or how it's not a two-handed katana, or it's not an actual Odachi, because for some reason on YouTube, everyone's a master. Calm down, we're space ninja mercenaries who kill anything we're asked for, for credits, potatoes, and of course, Kubro's lay eggs leave all reasoning at the door and of course our mom got kidnapped by some dude with space noodle arms we will also soon be able to fly grenier dargons out on the plains of eidolon this is of course another work in progress these grenier ships will be stationed around the map and we will have to either kill enemies or sneak up on them in order to mount them and become one with the sky now you can also remount them after you've jumped off them and of course Rebecca showed us how it floated all the way down and hovered over water and she was able to jump back out onto it and fly off into the sunset. Now round about this time of the dev stream the fire alarm went off in the studio and of course all hell broke loose. There was sporadic fighting in the back, there was people jumping out windows, no there wasn't really, it was literally just a false alarm so it was a shame we didn't get to see some of the items that they still had planned on showing us. We did hear mention of four new augments inbound and one of them is for Nidus's larva ability, his spaghetti ball that can be manually detonated for 300 guaranteed viral damage. So you can cast your spaghetti ball and then recast it to blow shit up. So that's pretty much the dev stream. Let me know what you think of the idea of giving Damage 2.5 a more radical rework, Mesa's deluxe skin, and of course the possible Zephyr changes as well, and of course that big ass two handed katana. Do me a huge favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Warframe, and as always, thanks very much for watching.